What's going on YouTube? Matt from Garage MC here. Guys, we got a package in the other day from Curtis over at 223cycles.net. We got the PWK 38mm Air Striker carburetor with a whole bunch of mods all done to it and everything. Custom built for the three-wheeler that I'm building. Uh, I'm sure you guys already know what's going on with that. Uh, matter of fact, before we get into opening that box, guys, let's, uh, let's talk about this real quick. Um, I finally got to ride it. And uh, we have a we have a small problem. We just you know, eh, you know, it is what it is. It just you know, it means we're gonna tear it apart and rebuild the whole the whole thing now. We're not just gonna dress it up. Uh, things got compression, like a motherfucker. You know what I mean? But uh, stay tuned. We'll get into opening this box. I'll show you a couple other things that came in for it too. Stick around. Before we get into opening our carburetor, uh, I'm going to pull out some of the other stuff that came in. Where the hell did I put it? I don't know. It's somewhere around here, though. I'll pull out some other stuff. We Our V-Force 3 reeds came in, too, so we'll see how those come. Um, what else here? Uh, I mounted the headlight up in the bezel. So, I took this thing for a ride yesterday, right? With no seat on it, I took it for a ride because I'm an idiot and, I, you know, couldn't really wait. I'm impatient. What do you What do you want me to say? Um, I get back to the house with it, and we're leaking some gray, milky-like substance on the ground out of one of the crankcase vent tubes. So, go ahead and take a peek in here. Oh yeah. So that's what we're looking like here, guys, with the fluid. Um. It's got water in it, so it's probably the water pump seals and stuff are probably bad. Uh, I didn't open the radiator cap yet to see if we're like low on coolant, but it wouldn't have done me much good anyway because I didn't even check it before I wrote it. But I don't, don't worry, I only wrote it on the block. You know, just just enough to blow it up if 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 need be. Um, so yeah, I, th I think we're getting coolant in the oil. No big deal. It is what it is. Um, Another update, my FMF Gold Series Fatty Full Exhaust with the Power Core Silencer and everything that I ordered like a month and a half ago. Uh, I was supposed to ship out yesterday on Friday, the 18th of November, and um, they sent me an email saying, oh, it's going to be another week. So, of course, I did my usual thing, got really pissed off and sent them an email back and, you know, Threaten their children and everything. So it got ended up getting shipped out yesterday. So it's on its way. Um, I didn't threaten his children. I'm just kidding. I might, might as well. May may as well have though. Uh, anyway, few few choice. Uh, you know, words in there. But um, I got the result I wanted. So yeah, whatever. I'm I'm a little baby when it comes to I want my shit. And I want it now. Okay, just how I am. Don't don't even don't even say that. Anyway. The frame on this thing, it's a slight bit tweaked, guys. It's a slight bit tweaked. Like I told you guys in the other video, you know, it, it, whatever. Uh, I'm going to strip it down to the frame. I have another frame with a title, like I said. So, you know, just uh, you, you can see how everything here is wanting to line up. It's not wanting to. Let me get you a better angle of that here. Oh, okay. It's making me a liar. It, it will bolt together, but... It is this this end of the uh, tail section of the frame is lower than this one, and it's pushed over that way. Uh, I could probably easily tweak it back, but you know I'm going to pull it all apart anyway, so I'm not going to put it together with a, a tweaked frame. It's just not my style. Um, that thing uh, I was going to make a video putting the one-way bearing in there, the new clutch. Um, it was so simple, guys. Like, I've never even worked on these, and I did it in, like, 15 minutes. So I, I really needed to look up nothing other than the torque spec on the nut that holds the flywheel to the crank. 36 foot-pounds. That's all I needed to find out. Everything else, if you could put two Legos together, you could figure out how to work on this piece of shit here. Anyway, all right. Let me pull out the other stuff I got, and then we'll get into opening up this carburetor from 223cycles.net. Running out of space in the garage, guys. Um... I literally tear this garage apart and put it back together like maybe once a week. Still have no space to do shit. I need a bigger shop or a bigger garage or whatever. Under the deck. Who knows? 
whatever works is where I'll work. Anyway, we got a new OEM replacement intake boot. Nice, uh, nice piece from Honda there. Yes, they still make those readily available, obviously. In here, we got you guys can't take a guess what's in this box, can you? Go ahead, I'm waiting. You got it. Here's our new FMF exhaust. <laughs> Just kidding, guys, obviously. All right, so we got our usual <laughs> stickers. We could just cover everything the fuck up with stickers on every machine we have. Uh, I told you guys before I'd show you what I do with all my extra stickers um, in, an, in one of my previous videos, and I didn't show you what I actually do with them because I don't do shit with them. So you did get to see what I do with them. But anyway, there's piles of stickers here guys so these can go well actually i'm gonna leave these in the box for now because we got our intake gaskets um might not use these probably gonna go with a different brand but yeah we got them so v force three reeds carbon fiber reeds these are uh it's a nice piece here guys you know it's, 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 pr it's primo right here it's pr pr premium piece uh apparently these are what a lot of people use with the 250r so that's what I went with. What is on the trike now is uh, a set of ESR reeds that I had picked up uh, secondhand that are like damn near brand new. But anyway, what you guys clicked on. Let's get into opening up this carburetor from 223cycles.net. I'm going to have his uh, website plastered all over the screen here so there's no confusion on where to go to get you something like this. All right, so. First off, guys, you hear that? Shaking a box around, do you hear that? Yeah, I don't hear it either because everything is packed extremely well in here. Um, yes, these are fragile. So, you know, when you get the, the post office worker that delivers your mail that's always in a shitty mood, you know, not talking about anybody in particular, <clears throat> my post office guy, mailman, whatever you want to call him. Curtis from over 223cycles.net sent me over a JIS screwdriver to go along with this. Um, you know, you're not supposed to use uh, vice grips, guys, like, you know, most YouTubers show you. But um, JIS stands for Just In Case Shit. Um, or it might stand for Japanese Industrial Standard. Not, not sure. You, know, you guys tell me. But, uh, you know, I, I actually bought this. The carburetor was free. You buy a screwdriver, you get a free carburetor. <laughs> Yeah, right. That's not how it works, guys. Anyway, all right. Let's get into the good shit here. Now, when you guys are buying a carburetor, you've got to be careful. You've got to be careful. And I'm not I'm not a pro at knowing what's what and this and that and all that shit. And I'm never going to claim that I am because I am simply not. I am not a certified mechanic. None of that shit. So... I will tell you the differences that I notice if you get a knockoff Chinese one of these. Um, the box on a knockoff one looks identical. Same stickers, everything. Even if you flip it around, it even has this sticker on it. But if you get a Chinese knockoff, they usually have brown like uh, like packing tape like this will be over the part number on it. But I'll show you one way to that, that I think uh, discerns the knockoffs from the original Sudco product Kahin carburetors um, when we get into pulling this out of the box, which we're going to do right now. So, unboxing the carburetor. Here we go, guys. There's also more packing material in here. And, come on, you juicy little part, you. Woo! Look at that thing there, guys. Oh, man. Oh, sheesh. I think that's what everybody says now, huh? Oh, guys. Hold on. What do we got here? Stickers. <laughs> oh, we got more stickers. Yeah. All right. Anyway. um, Here it is, guys. This thing is, I mean... <laughs> We got the clear float bowl. We got the upgraded uh, uh, adjustment screw here, uh, guys. Uh, listen, I'm not I'm not a pro with carburetors. I can't tell you all of this shit, man. I can rebuild one. I can rebuild one, but you know, it, it, the the bike is gonna 
thank you when you put a brand new carburetor on it. You're going to love the way it rides, as long as everything else is mechanically sound as well. But, I mean, this is a PWK 38mm Air Striker. It's got the flat blade uh, air plate in there. It's rounded on the other side, but, you know, don't worry about that side. Don't, don't look in there. Anyway, guys, Curtis over at 223cycles.net. Um, I had, it, he kind of reached out to me, and I kind of reached out to him at the same time. So, um, this just kind of worked out. Um, like I said, this is what's going on to ATC 250R, the one that I have. It's a 1985. So, we're going to have this. We're going to have the V-Force 3 reeds. We're going to have FMF uh, Gold Series Fatty uh, Expansion Tank and a uh, Power Core 2 silencer. And uh, as far as other upgrades, guys, the, the bike itself has amazing compression. Amazing. Um, there's no seat on it right now, but, I mean, uh, and I don't, I don't want to take it for a ride right now because of the milky stuff that's in the trans. Um, I definitely don't want to hurt anything on that trike. Uh, those parts are ridiculously expensive. Anyway, Curdy uh, hooked me up with, you get the, I got the fuel line on here. Uh, the jets are all, everything should be set according to what I told him I'm putting on this bike. So we should be good to just bolt on and go. Obviously, I'll have to mess with the, you know, the, the air idle and all that stuff and, and the idle itself. Everything like that's going to have to get messed with. We'll cover that in another video. So we'll talk about the differences that I've noticed if you end up getting a Chinese knockoff one of these carburetors. And it's a, it's a pretty noticeable thing on them, uh, at least to me. Uh, I'm sure there's probably other differences. I'm sure all the, the, the veins and all the, the um, uh, what the hell's the word I'm looking for? You know what I mean. All the friggin' ports and everything that go through the carburetor. I'm sure on the Chinese one, the tolerances are probably different. All the shit's probably off. They, some of them claim that, you know, actual Kahin jets work in them. But, I mean, I've had them before to where they don't. You know what I mean? It's like, or they go right in the trash. They go in the trash. That's that's what happens. Or you blow your bike up, and then you're like, oh, man, what happened? And you put Chinese shit on there, guys. All right? China's trying to take us down, obviously. Don't buy parts from them. Anyway, here's, uh, while I'm showing you the difference that I've noticed with the Chinese to the originals, I'll put a picture of this carburetor with all the mods that went into it from Curtis over at 223cycles.net. So, <clears throat> one thing... The one thing that I have noticed on a Chinese knockoff one of these, you guys see the the finish in here, right? It's like, it's raw aluminum. It is smooth, yes. But what I've noticed on the Chinese knockoffs, the inside part of this here looks like it's like polished out, like it's shiny. So to me, that's that's a big red flag that it is a knockoff carb. Like I said, they probably still work, but, you know, it, you're going to put money into something, guys. It, th these are not as expensive as you might think they are. So if you guys are looking for a carburetor, you want to upgrade, or even if you have your carburetor that you want rebuilt or you want to customize or anything, talk to Curdy over at 223cycles.net. You you might be shocked at the price that you get. It, it might be, It's going to be a lot less than what you think it's going to be. You know, it's, it's not out of the realm of possibilities. Um, guys, I don't make money doing YouTube yet anyway. But, I mean, I, I work for everything I have. So, I don't, I'm not just out there splurging, spending a bunch of money on shit. Like, everything you guys see me do in all these videos, all these quads I buy, all these parts I get, all this shit that I do. Guys, I, I bust my ass. Mainly, I buy stuff and resell it. I buy it broken, fix it, resell it. Like that Polaris that we just got the other day, the 03 Sportsman 600 Twin. Got that thing with a title. If you guys don't know what that is yet, go check out that video because we're doing a contest and somebody's going to win on a live stream tomorrow. Um, you had to guess how much I paid for that quad, but you have to put it in that comment section. Price is right rules. If you go over it, you, you, you lose. You only get one, you only get one, one guess too, and that's it. First one you put down, that's the one I'm marking down. Um, like, something like that, guys. I, I'm going to make a nice penny off of that, you know? So all this stuff pays for itself. You just got to be diligent. You got to stay out there and look for all the deals. You got to know what to do with it. You got to 
know how to diagnose what could be wrong or what it may need. And you also got to know the market. You know, what people are asking for shit and what it actually sells for are two totally different things. Trust me. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. It was a quick one for you. Showing you guys this carburetor and letting you know where to go to go get one of these. Guys, I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. Like I've said in my other video, you guys know how I am. It, it's, it's hard for me to trust somebody else to do some of my mechanical, mechanicals. I'm, I'm the guy that likes to do it all myself, you know. But... That, that should be telling you something. And also, my friend over at MRC Builds, he uses the same guy, you know. Uh, if you don't know who MRC Builds is, go check out his channel on YouTube, too. He's got a ton of, like, old-school Honda three-wheelers and stuff like that. We're all into the same stuff, guys. So, you know, there it is. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video, probably tomorrow. And thanks for joining me in the garage. Peace!